We thank you for protection. We thank you for your provision. Father, we do not take anything for granted. We have come to say thank you, Father. We have come to say thank you, Father. We enter your gate with thanksgiving, O oh God. We enter your court with praises and we worship at your feet. We thank you for all that you have done. Can someone lift up his or her voice tonight and bless him? Let the Lord hear your thanksgiving tonight. Thank you, Father. Baro suke prato vilandi akabara do shabalante akabadas. Sufrem bedu suprate le pariato pavi akabana kosi pratas. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, 
Just lift up your voice and bless him. Just lift up your voice tonight and bless him. We thank you for last year. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for bringing us into this new year. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Let the Lord hear your own song. Sing to him. Make a melody in your heart to the Lord. Let the Lord hear the gratitude of your heart. Bless him tonight. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him tonight. Bless him. Baro supra teka ba ba shada balata sita. Rabada baro supra tele manango supra tele bahadash. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. Father, we extol your name. Father, we exalt you. 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 Be thou glorified. Be thou glorified. Be thou lifted up. Gratitude, Lord, and we say thank you, and we say thank you. Be glorified forever, be lifted high forever. Oh, Jesus, thank you.
You are the joy of the whole world. 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 You
somebody give the Lord a shout. So we want to conserve energy. Wisdom is profitable. If you come here and do wah 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 wah, it's just the first day. We are going 21 days without food. So the Lord will give you strength. Happy New Year this evening. Welcome to 2022. Is this how you are greeting yourself in New Year? to the left, go to the right, to the front, to the back. Happy New Year, guys. Yeah. Happy New Year, guys. I mean, greet, greet, the, go to somebody you don't, you've not seen in 2022. Some of you have seen yourself, the one you've not seen. And welcome the person to 2022. and Lagos. I love, I love RC and Lagos. This is the family of God. This is the family of God. Can you give the Lord a clap, 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 clap. Hallelujah. I remember that he's getting married in the month of February. He went for a medical test. Um, because in RCM, before you marry, you do your test. And when she got there with the bubble, and they said they are here for premarital test. And the guy said, from where? She said, from RCA. The guy shouted and he said, Ah ah, I think I need to join this RCM because I don't have a wife. <laughs> I, the way you people are coming to this place with different kind of medical test requirement for marriage, I need to join you guys. Can somebody clap for Jesus again? <laughs> If you know me, you know I love to thank God. Thank Jesus. Because what you appreciate, we appreciate in value. This God is too much. Hallelujah. Amen. We have nursing mothers. This time last year, around December, the enemy was seeking to take one of our pastor's wife with the pregnancy, but she put to bed January 1st, all right? So, we, we thank God. I saw fit there now doing Mrs. Macho. I told her, you better take it easy. Oh. She just put to bed. They had the name in last week. Let's celebrate Jesus.
What you all didn't know was that when Teofilo Sunday left here, he was involved in a ghastly accident that almost took his life. If I had the time, I would have shown you the picture of where he came out from. But we kept it. We didn't share it. In fact, I was with Pastor Victor when I got that call. I was eating. I jumped off the food, knelt down, and started praying. Not again. On Abuja, Lokoja Expressway, that same route. Some of you, if you know, you know. And he came out of that accident with his eyes closed. They had to stitch his neck. But it would be un insensitive before the Lord not to mention this and give him thanks. The enemy fought us. During the convergence, I've never been under an intense pressure from where we wanted to use like the last one. All hell broke loose. Our spiritual father needed to travel. In fact, again, Papa had to pass through Lagos to go to Ghana by road. I'm saying this because he said it, I think, on the first already. Had to go to Ghana because everywhere there was a major resistance. But here we are today. In the year 2022, we are not only seeing ourselves, we are all looking beautiful and handsome. <laughs> Theophilus is doing marvelously well. You remember he was saying, Maranatha, Maranatha. <laughs> he was talking about the songs of the saints. The enemy wanted to take advantage of that song. No glory in this world. No greatness here for me. I won't trade you for gold. Your presence is my Lord. And to say you say, well done. So my life. So my life. And reap the nations for you. Those were the songs that came out last year. They were songs that, you know, they are like him, the hymn writers. So he's the modern day hymn. So the enemy said, since you want to sow your life. But God showed that he's great. Can we thank God on behalf of Theophilus? <laughs> thank Jesus! Come on, somebody celebrate Jesus. The question would have been asked, where was he coming from? From RCN, Lagos and RCN, Ghana. Somebody thank Jesus again. No bone will be broken this year. No jaw will drop this year. No oil will leak this year. Amen. No death will happen this year. How many of you remember when I said God said we should shut down the gates? So said we should shut down the gates. And thank God he gave us the opportunity to shut down two gates. The gate of death and the gate of the grave. So death came, couldn't take him. And death will not take any of us. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. The second thing I want to say is, can all the pastors come out please? Everyone that partook. All the pastors. Now, you can sit down. It is your turn to sit down. Can you come close this way? Yes, just follow me where I'm standing. 
Where is Tunayo? Stand with your husband. The next time, the others will come with their wives. Praise the Lord. I'm going to give Pastor Grace, Reverend John, this mic, and they're going to thank all of you. And then I will thank you also. Honestly speaking, all of you, let it come to my tongue first. Praise the Lord and Happy New Year once again. So on behalf of the pastorate, RCN Lagos Pastorate, we want to say thank you very sincerely for your gifts, for blessing us, for praying for us. We, we receive a lot from, from you all, from uh, individual to prayer cell, and we are really thankful. And for so many of you that sent us uh, New Year messages and we have not responded to you, we apologize. Our phone is full, so we'll take our time to, to respond to you accordingly. So thank you, and we pray that God will indeed replenish you and bless you in all things in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Okay, on behalf of the pastorate and on behalf of myself and my family, I want to appreciate everyone for your kind messages, your prayers, your gifts. It went a very long way. God bless you in Jesus' name. RC and Lagos, give the Lord a shout. On behalf of the Remnant Christian Network, the elders in council, our spiritual father, Apostle Aramel Sai, I want to stand here to say a very big thank you to all our members online and on set. That the good Lord will bless you. The good Lord will replenish your purse. Somebody sent us 200,000 from among our members that this is for pastors. A lady online that has not been here physically sent us one million that this is for the pastors. I do pray that she's online watching us now. We are the pastors that came back to say we are grateful and that the Lord will continue to bless you the Lord will continue to multiply you. We had bags of rice, chicken, cow. I mean cow, complete cow. We had granite oil, pepperoni, mamaroni. Anything you can imagine that is called food, we had it this Christmas. Even Ankara. And... Should I tell you something? The alert kept came, coming in. Boom, 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 boom. We will just see. We were, I was tired of looking at my phone. May God bless you. Amen. We are grateful. I saw Papa today, and I told him the people blessed the pastors. He said it means you have blessed them also. And tell them thank you on my behalf. I was with him for about three hours today. And he said, thank them on my behalf. So on behalf of our father, our daddy, we say thank you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. And may the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. In Jesus' name. Pastors, I hope you will do more this year. When we call you, no complaint. Remember, December will always come. It is only in December that I, I ask our people to bless our, our pastors. So December is coming. And you will see December in Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor Victor said we'll die there. Amen. Pastor Tunde Bakari has corrected me. He says, stop saying you will die there. We will live there. We are not dying. We are going forward in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for them. Please take your seats. Somebody, somebody reported Pastor Jonathan to me today. Say, Pastor, Jonathan's face is too hard. 
that is always hard. I said, ah, if they say Pastor Jonathan's face is hard, then me, I've gone break, I've ha I have breakthrough now. Because um, the issue has been Reverend Austin's heart. face is too hard. So glory to God. The anointing is now, <laughs> now resting on Uncle Joe. So I will have some peace of mind. Hallelujah. In the course of the week, in the course of our stay at home, a couple of things came up. After we went on break, I actually was not on break. I was doing counseling for one full week. I was doing counseling from morning till evening. And some of the feedback that came, I said, okay, I was going to talk about it. If you sent me a message and I didn't respond until when we saw during the, um, the break, which you successfully took, took away one week from for me. I was counseling from morning till evening every day. Never complained. But the people on the other side of the table felt like Reverend Austin doesn't give us time. It's never deliberate not to give you time. Never intentional not to give you time. I'm a pastor. I'm jealous over my people and I love them. Matter of fact, if I, if I pour my love on you, you will think I want to control you. Really. There are, the people that are close to me, they can tell you that. The ones that are very close, they can tell you. You will think I want to be controlling. That's how much I love you. And that's how much I want to go all out for you. My back ached, but I, I needed to give you that one week. If I, one of them was talking to me, where's Tolani? When Tolani was talking to me, I was sleeping. I was like this, in the middle, in the midst of counseling. And I told her, I say, you see, if I tell you that I'm tired, you won't believe. Now you are talking to me. 30% of the things you are saying are not coming forth. I, I, I'm tired. So it's not deliberate. It's because the RCM model is unique. We apply travel with pastoring. I never knew I would pastor I will have a time in my life where people will gather like this and we meet every week. I thought I was just going to be a striker, an itinerant minister to travel, do the ministry, come back and sit down. But the RCM model is quite different. And that is why we have a lot of pastors in our midst. Reverend Austin is not the only pastor. Matter of fact, you will kill me faster if you make God out of me. If you turn me to a demigod, God will kill me. And if God doesn't kill me, he will reduce the grace. So don't make God out of me. Make do with the pastors we have in the house. If the, any pastor you want to talk to and is not responding, then that pastor will have Papa to contend with. Because I'm not the one that ordained him. It's Apostle Arame that ordained him and said we should work together here. If you call any of us and we are not responding, talk to me about it. But I know that none of the... Reverend John, sometimes we come back from work and he will get home 10 o'clock because he will need to do counseling. I want to beg all of us to please show understanding. There are times that you are not there. Our wives are the ones that battle with our body. We have headaches. Headaches that you, you cannot define. It happens to me. My body aches. I'm a human being like you. Pastor Jonathan is a human being like you. During the convergence, Pastor Joe, what time do we get home? That's Pastor Joe talking. Myself and him, we're getting home 2 a.m. from Monday till Monday. 2 a.m. every day. And you will see, see us wear suits come out. <laughs> 2 a.m. I have wife, I have children. So I'm not saying that what the people were telling me was wrong. I'm just explaining now in the public space. Don't make God out of me. I am not one. I'm not. Yes, the Bible says ye are gods. But the gods there were small g. But when he ended, he said, ye are God, and ye are the children of what? The Most High. So we are children of the Most High. We are not God. We are God over Satan. Praise the Lord. 
So it's with, it's with deep responsibility that I'm saying that, please, brethren, show understanding. There are times I leave here at 10 o'clock. I have to compel pastors that you all cannot be leaving me here anymore. We will have to do this work together. So the, that we are leaving here at 10 o'clock is because they are around. Because sometimes you will see people who will need us to really talk to them. And so when we, you ask to see me and I say, please see the other pastor, it's not because I don't want to see you. Because one of the, the things that came was, one of them even said to me that it's, it's like it's because I don't have money. That she really wants to pour her heart to me today. I said, that's fine. Please go, go ahead. Thank God now I'm already getting to learn emotional intelligence. So my face didn't change. I didn't do anything. I said, it's okay. It's fine. Um, it's not because of you don't have money, really. It's because I'm indisposed at that time. I was on the road traveling. That's why I didn't even notice that you sent me a message. So people of God, those feedbacks, we are going to work on it. I also will improve on my takeoff time to respond. Um, that once you send a message, I will respond. And there are times that when you send a message, I mistakenly open it. I've not even read it. So let me also say that. I mistakenly open it. I haven't read it. It will now so show to you that I read. Does it happen to any of you? Right? It will now show that Reverend Austin read this thing, but he kept quiet. I actually didn't, didn't read it. I didn't see it. I want us to start New Year with very good and proper understanding. You know why? One of those persons that came to that meeting, she, she was a bit not happy with me. And I can't say the things that she went through. Not because I'm a man of God, though, but because she kept offense in her heart. So I'm not saying that God was punishing her because of me. No, 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 no. It's because offense was rooted there. So there was no passageway for the Holy Spirit to reach her as far as I'm preaching here. I remember a young man was selling PV that he wasn't happy with me. After we discussed, he thought the issue had gone. But one day somebody asked him a question or something and the whole pain came back. And I was really innocent on that matter. But I took it in because I'm a pastor. So I will keep encouraging myself in the Lord. I never mean to offend you. I never mean to denigrate you. I never mean to abandon your messages and leave you in tight corner. And you will never be in any tight corner in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. The man of God too is man. Or the man of God too is a man. The woman of God too is a woman. Show us understanding. I had to tell one that ever since I've been pastoring you, when have you ever in your life sent me an SMS that, oh, Reverend Austin, how are you? When she finished, her own was from the beginning till the end, how I was wrong. I said, okay. Today, you know, today is the beginning of the meet, um, fasting, so let's remove all the baggages. I didn't intend to preach, actually. This is what I intend to do. And then tell us how to fast. So I said, when did you send me SMS that, oh, P. Austin, how far? Because there is no week I didn't travel. No month, let's say no month that I didn't travel. And some of the travels were back to back to back to back. So when, and you happen to be very close because you know, all, you know some of my itinerary. When have you said, how was your trip? There are people who are in England who are saying, oh, but we are praying for you. When they say they are praying, I will say, oh, God, you are part of this challenge. You prophesied it. There are some who have no business with us. They will send us messages. But our own people, we are dying. Our body is crying. But what you are saying is, we don't care. No. Believe you me, with my hands up, I care about everyone that God has planted under our care. And God will give us the wisdom to be able to pastor you properly this year. If there is anything I ask for, is the wisdom to pastor you properly. Whether I'm here or not. And that was why deliberately you would notice that 
all our pastors minister in this, in this, on this platform. I withdraw so that they can minister. And I will sit down because I want to show you an example that I don't need to travel before they preach. I sit down and I take note. All of them, I can tell you their topics that they took last year. So if I've offended you, you felt slighted, this is me saying I am sorry. It's never intentional. It's not deliberate at all. If you have prayer requests, send to Pastor Victor. If you have counseling requests about family life, send to Pastor Grace, send to Reverend John. If you have money requests, send to Pastor Grace, send to Pastor Tunrayo. If you have Send to Pastor Victor. <laughs> if you have business challenge, send to Araka, send to Okukbe. If you need counseling, if you see a sister that you want to marry, talk to any of the pastors. And then see Pastor Grace. It's simple. Praise the Lord. So let's not make God out of Reverend Austin. He's not one, and he will never be one. He's one from among you. He's a brother. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I'll move to the next thing, and then I'll call on. There is a song the Lord gave to us. Every year the Lord gives us a song. And the Lord gave us a song in the course of our waiting. While I fasted and prayed, why we fasted and prayed? No. Why we prayed? We didn't fast. It's not that we are fasting. We were eating and praying. Myself, Reverend Gideon, Jonathan Oraka, Pastor Jonathan, Okbe, Combustible, Uncle Charles, Kemi, Buki, Derry, Reverend, um, Pastor Ayo was supposed to come. He couldn't make it. While we prayed, the Lord gave Okbe a song. And it became very clear to me that that song is a song of the Lord. That that song is a song that we should use to open the year. The choir will learn it. And then, in the course of the fasting and prayer, the Lord will be releasing new sounds. And as you receive those sounds, don't, don't hurt them. Quickly sing it into your phone and send it to Uncle Toby. Uncle Toby, can you stand up for recognition? Send it to Fago. Where is Fago? Uh, I, I didn't see you all. Send it to two of them. The choir will be working on, uh, song, on those songs. So that when it's time for our love feast, we will feast and then we'll have those songs. Um, there are marching orders. Please sit down. There are marching orders that the Lord gave to us. And we trust God that in the course of this fasting and prayer, we'll be releasing them one after the other. I trust God that this year we are going to take it gently. We are going to be doing a lot of media engagement this year. We'll be doing a lot of media engagement. I'm sure Samson would have given some uh, the media department some of the feedback about us. So we'll be very much into media engagement this year. Remember that the highest form of support that came to the pastors came from the media department. A woman that has been following us, she's not been here before, said the Lord asked her to send that money for the pastors. And may the Lord bless you, ma, and bless your family. So I want us to take that song, Kemi will come, Okbe, I don't know if they have done the rehearsal or what the plan is, but 
I will call Kemi up. Okba received the song. But it was Kemi that uh, the Spirit of the Lord zeroed on to bring that song to us. They are going to teach us. You can record it if you want to. When she's done with that song, I will come back and cast the vision for the fasting and tell us how we will be breaking every day. I've received tons of questions today. Somebody said to me, should I eat cucumber? Somebody said to me, can I take granite? You can actually eat onions. You can eat tomatoes. Just make sure that when you are coming here, you have mouthwash. I will come to that. So, with Jesus' joy, <laughs> uh, you know when Kemi walked out now, one of our guys here sent me her picture. He sent a picture that, hey, Papa, this lady, I say, look no further. <laughs> In fact, if it was physical, the way I would have shouted, I say, look, immediately I saw this picture, and he was typing, and they allowed the typing to come in. I say, look no further. She's not just been taken, she's a mother. She's a mother of two, and she's a pastor's wife. The guy say, oh. Is he around? No, he's not around. I would have... Uh... <laughs> So she's a mother, she's a, she's a wife of my friend and my brother, Uncle Charles. Please, can you stand up for recognition? That's Uncle Charles. You see, the tallest. They are tall. They are tall in their family. Hallelujah. So be blessed. Okba, do you need my mic? All right. Um. Bible says I will look I will lift up my eyes to the ears from where comes my help my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth He's the one that is mighty in ourselves we are nothing without him I pray that you're blessed by the song you are good you are kind that is why I've come to you to look for him. You are God, Lord, I'm just a man. You see, say, I need your help. You are good and you are kind. That is why I come to you to look for you are God, Jehovah, I'm just a man, no, share you see, say, I need your help, share you see, say, I need your help, share you see, say, I need your help, share you see, say, I need your help. Yeah, you see, say, I need your help. I need your help. I need your help. I need your help. Yeah, you see, say. Yazana na mayana mosia tieni mante aka limona ya amosera ema sonde ali emo ali tara mando sela i galaba ya na nonde ya emo sala ni na na ya no se na mayana noma imana ya na sali ya taya na emo sana emo sana imara matu sela malaya imo sela i aka ni mande ya na ni alana. Emosele akali amana, emosele, emosele, 
Ya mo se ayinan Shave si Shave I need you I am weak You are strong Lord The arm of flesh It will fail me You are God I'm just an ordinary man Share you see say I need your help You are God 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 Almighty God Eh Share you see say I need your help I'm just a man no oh, I'm just a man I'm just a man no oh, I'm just a man I'm just a man no oh, I'm just a man Share you see say I need your help 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 oh Share you see say I need your help Share you see say I need your help Share be you see say I need your help Share you see say I need your help oh Share you see say You are good You are God That is why I come to you to look for You You are God me I'm just a man She you see say I need your help Amen amen She you see say Can you turn that to prayer right now? This year? Share you see, say, I need your help. I need your help. I need your help. I need your help.
Psalm 60, help me read quickly. Give us what? For vain is the help of man. Oh my God, you are reading. I know you are all fasting. I will cast the vision for the fasting shortly. But can we read that again? Give it to us. 11. Vain is the help of man. Give me help from trouble. For vain is the help of man. The Bible says, Cause be him that put his trust in the arm of flesh. For the arm of flesh will fail you. We want to pray. If you know what it means to, to beg God, this is one of the time to beg God. That Lord, please, in 2022, help me. She you see, say, I need your help. It is she, so that you can understand. That is, is our dialect. It's a pigeon word. I want you to cry to him that, Father, please. This is one of the places where I ask you to beg God. The Lord, please. Please, Father, help me. For vain is the help of man. But God will give you help from your trouble. That this year, there will be no trouble in my life. If you want to kneel down to plead, please, I'm begging. But make sure that you are prosecuting this prayer this evening. The Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will send me help. Send me help. Help me this year. It is true that the horse is prepared for the battle, but victory is of the Lord. He said, help does not come from the north, from the south, I beg your pardon. Help does not come from the west. Help does not come from the east. He said, help cometh from where? From above. We want to talk to God. That Father, in every aspect of my life this year, I know you will not like the prayer. You are waiting for prophetic pronouncements. But I want you to talk to God. Show God your vulnerability today. That Father, please, my name is Austin. I need help. Hey, help me from the strategies of the devil. Help me from the wiles of the enemy. Shall you see, say, I need your help. I still need your help. I need your help. I 
Here for you, sir. I need I need you. Lord, help me. I cry for help. Just like the old man, the young man cried, the Lord heard him, helped him and delivered him from his trouble. Help us, oh God. We come today crying for help. Send us out from your sanctuary. Send us out, oh God. In our work from January till December, send me help. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 10. Isaiah 54 verse 10. I went home, Uncle Charles, and I decided to press that word, help. When I pressed the word help, I stumbled on the discovery because I went to study the book of 1 John chapter 1, chapter 2 verse 1. He said, if any of us sin, we have an advocate with the Father. If you check the word advocate, it means parakletos. And that word parakletos is called a helper, the Holy Spirit. So in the heavens, there is a helper. On the earth, there is a Holy Ghost helping you from within you. I said to myself, if, if I die of my weaknesses, it's because I didn't yield. Before heaven... There is a legal luminary that is sitting before the Lord. That is why when you are praying, the Holy Ghost can pick the mind of God. For when he, the spirit of truth, shall come, he shall guide you. You see, one of the help you receive is guidance. For they that are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. And Jesus said, it's expedient that I go. Because if I don't go, the Father will not send the paracletos. Another word for the paracletos is an advocator. One that stands before the judge to take your place. You are desired of death. He takes your place. So over there, overboard, there is the advocator. The father himself. Jesus himself seated by the right hand of God making intercession for you. Then he said, I will not leave you like that. Then there is another helper. My God. If you are married, there is another helper again. What a God. The triune dimension of the spirit. Oh my God. If you if, see, if you are not helped this year, it's because you don't have the revelation of help. When I saw that help is tied to the spirit and advocacy is tied to, to the son of God, there is, a, there is a marriage between the both of them. No wonder when you begin to pray, 
you will just have a knowing because the Holy Spirit is a being that can go to that heaven. He can communicate with the Father and communicate with you at the same time. He said, when he shall come, he shall tell you of me. He will guide you into all truth. He will not speak of himself. The helper that you have is not selfish. Your word that is a help meet can be selfish. Only one helper, only one is unselfish. His mandate is to do the will of God, the will of Jesus. He does not do his own will. So Isaiah 54 verse 10, hear what he says. No. I think verse 6, the Lord God will help me. I will not be ashamed. Isaiah 54, 50, 50, 50 verse 4. 50 verse 7, thank you. 50 verse 7. Aha, I know my scriptures. Can we all read one to go? When the Lord begins to help you, there is a knowing that comes. The help of the Lord comes with a knowing. Therefore, I know. That is because the Lord is helping me. I know I cannot be confounded. You see, when I talk about God helping us, I'm not talking about God proving a point. To. That's not what I'm talking about. I am talking about God taking over every constituency of advocacy over your life. That there is no enemy that can advocate. There is no accuser that can advocate against you. That is the help of God. The advocacy of God, the paracletos of God, the Holy Spirit, God, Jesus, seated. Because when God spoke to me about the word help, I had to go back home and say, I've been studying help. Show me something, something deeper than what I know. And then he said, look at the word advocacy. You are going to pray. Advocate on my behalf this year, oh Holy Ghost. I need your help. Jesus, I need your help. Advocate for me this year, Holy Spirit. It is your help that we need. It is your help that I need, oh Spirit of God. It is your help that I need, oh God. It's your help that I need, oh God. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Oh God, help me. Help us. Oh God, help us. I am Combro no Sila. Ibron no Sale Combro no Silia. Halabana no Si Combra ni Saliato. I need your help. Cabra de Bosoto, Lubra de Bosoto, Libra de Madia Conde. Maybe your own is helping pray in your prayer life. Maybe the help you need is in your prayer life. Maybe the help you need is your finances. In every area today, the Lord can give you help. Send me help. I want your help in my prayer life this year. I want to study better this year. Help me, oh God. Help me, oh God. Help 
me, Father, help me. Help me. Help me, Lord. Everything that has to do with disgrace. Everything that has to be with shame. Help me. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We are still talking about help. The Lord took me on a vision a few days ago. And in that vision, I saw three accurate ministers of the gospel. And I saw a gang. A gang meaning and determined to discredit what they are doing. I saw that uproar from Lagos and I saw from Abuja. These two centers, while I, sat, while I stood in that vision, I saw money in Ghana must go. The word money is, money is in Ghana must go. Plenty of it. I saw and they were discussing and said, there is going to be a lot of social media blackmail this year on accurate ministers is sponsored from the pit of hell the accurate teachings of God is beginning to gain penetration and many people are coming into some kind of awareness so this is a gang up to go and discredit I, I know the men I saw but I will not mention their name but they call their names two are very close to me. One is in the east. That was when I realized that that man is teaching the right word of God. This says here of wisdom. I heard Baba Adeboye said, you cannot make omelette without breaking egg. So I said, okay, I think I need to begin to learn this wisdom now. You cannot make omelette without breaking eggs. When he said, when he came to Nigeria, that was what he said. May the Lord give you understanding. It therefore means that some things will give way either by choice or by force. Something must break. We want to pray that God should help every accurate minister this year. One of the things God said to me is, when you begin to see that thing happen, don't say a word. So that was why when that flyer was out, and somebody said they should boycott the program. I didn't say a word to him. This was the vision that was guiding my decision that I never mentioned to anybody until God gave me the permission and I spoke to the two people that I saw in that vision and I said, this year there is going to be a, 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 a blackmail and it's sponsored with money. I will share the names with our pastor so that we can stand and pray. But this is, we are online now. But we want to use these three ministers as point of contact. We want to pray to the Father that this year, mm, God will raise more, more teaching priests and that every accurate minister will be protected by God. They will not smear their character they will not, they will not, they will, they may even want to plant women around them. They may want to plant all kinds of things around them just because they want to break them down. But Lord, we cry for your help. Can you cry to God? Can you cry to God on behalf of every accurate minister of the gospel? Oh, we are not, we are just saying, Lord, send help. Hey. Send help from your sanctuary. Send help. The blackmail from the social media, it will not fly. Send help. We need your help. Help. We need your help.
For Apostle Arame. You are going to pray for Reverend Gideon. You are going to pray for David Ogweli. You are going to pray for these three ministers right now. And you are going to say, God, we are asking that all over this nation you will replicate such graces. All over this nation, you will raise voices. You will keep these ones. You will keep them. We pray for for our apostle David Obueli, the Lord, your strength will preserve him. Your hand will preserve him. In the name of Jesus, you will preserve that posterity from the side of the east. Your hand, oh God Almighty, oh my Kobaria Sake, Obarada Kombodi, Lembru Sataya, Yekombodi, Abrande, Abrande. Orade sombroko, imbrando subaradeka, mandro komborodisa, jekendo abre kilo si brandeko, libranda kodia, abranda sasapaye, baradondo bori, ibanatori akombi ya sababa, shabanande atua, egere tuandeva, aladre komborotua, zeparadi asande, lebrodo sata. See his face and intercession ground. Every time we come to pray, come with the mind of interceding. Pray for David Ogboyle today. Pray for that man. Pray for that man. Pray for him. Pray for our father, David Ogboyle. Pray for him that this year, this year, Marado Sabanati Aqua. Ele sopa, pray for Apostle Arame, Shane Don Boto. The reserve to stay accurate is there. Therefore, oh God, watch over them. Keep them in the name of Jesus. Keep them. Build a wall over their heart. Build a wall over their heart, oh God. Every sponsor from the pit of hell, we cancel it. We say no. It is the posterity of God that will stand. Shabarada Kombrodosila. Replicate that grace. We are some more teaching priests. We are some more ministers of the gospel. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus mighty name we pray take your seat you will pray while you are seated I listened to a very profound teaching recently by Derek Prince Derek Prince he's late now he has gone to be with the Lord I can't even remember the title of the message and in that message he said many people who are teachers or many preachers of the gospel they've left teaching the gospel to go about looking for error and in seeking for error they never made it back this is what he's saying is you know you are a preacher of truth because you want to present truth you left truth and you went to understudy error with the mind to come back and attack error God didn't call you to attack error the way to attack error is to present truth. If you want to know that a stick is crooked, don't speak. Bring a, a, a straight stick, put beside it. Once you put a, a straight stick before a crooked stick, you will see the contours and the bend. You don't need to talk. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this year is the year where we don't focus on error, we teach truth. Present truth, error will die a natural death. If you want to pursue after error, and you want to go after erroneous teachers to sit down to hear their error so that you can pontificate, so that you can puncture what they have said, you may not come back. If your goal is to attack hypergrace and you say, let me follow this, they are teaching and begin to say, this is wrong, this is wrong, at some point, your pilot. We are acclimatized. So the prince says, stay with the truth. Keep preaching the truth. Keep saying the truth. Don't stop saying it. Keep saying the truth. We will not go after erroneous people. We will stand with the truth. We will speak the truth. Because Jesus is the truth. Stay with Jesus. Don't go about looking for all this inordinate affection. All this, you know, God says to me this year, He says, Son, avoid vain genealogy. Avoid it. And it came early. You see, when God spoke to me, the banter came early. So I said, Oh, this looks like it. We are not going to say a word. We won't say a word. Just remember to see a crooked stick. To know a crooked stick. Don't attack it. Bring a straight one. Just bring a straight one before it. The contours will be revealed. So God says we should as a house uphold every accurate minister of the gospel in Nigeria in prayer. I saw bags of money in Lagos and in Abuja and they were discussing. They said, what we want you to do with this money is go after them on social media. I heard, I heard that word. Go after them on social media. So you will see a lot of fight. And the wisdom that God gave to me is when you see that, don't fight. Don't defend. Pray. As you pray, let me tell you what God will do for all those accurate ministers. They will enjoy cheap publicity because those guys are going to use the money to sponsor lies, but it will, it will turn good. Apostle Arame will glide. David Ogweli will glide. You know, you know the thing is, at least, you know I don't know him one-on-one. -on -one. I've not spoken about him before. So this is how God operates. And the Lord will keep every accurate minister. You also, you will be accurate in your life. The standards of God are very high this year. Let me also remind you of another calendar. The Lord said that the month of June is a, is a window in 2022. I had forgotten that it was two years ago Benihin gave a prophecy that God will visit our country in two years' time. How many of you remember? This is that year. That two years he mentioned, this is the year. And then somebody, another prophecy also, another prophet also, also gave the same word that God will visit our nation in two years from that time. This is that year. 2022 is critical. 2022 is a critical year. If you are, if there is anything that you are hiding that you think, oh my God, I cannot survive this. Please locate a corporate garden 
The Lord said to me, I will kindle a fire in the corporate gathering this year. I will kindle a fire in corporate gatherings. Isaiah chapter 4 from verse 1. This is not, I'm speaking in my, from my spirit now. Isaiah chapter 4 from verse 1. He will kindle a fire in, in the assembly. I have a few more minutes to live here, Pastor Abi. From verse 3. Okay, let's take from verse 2 then. In that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious. Somebody say beautiful and glorious. And the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely. For them that are escaped of Israel. And it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion, may you be left in Zion. And he that remaineth in Jerusalem shall be called holy. Even everyone that is written among the living in Jerusalem. When the Lord shall have washed away the field of the daughters of Zion. And shall purge the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment. And by the spirit of burning. Somebody said the spirit of judgment. And the spirit of burning. The highest form of God's judgment is his mercy. When God wants to judge you, he will make it. He comes, judgment comes in form of mercy. The way God will achieve holiness is by the spirit of judgment and burning. He will cleanse us. He will wash us. He will take away all kinds of injuries and all kinds of pain from within our spirit. The orientation we will run with will change. Because God will take away the turban from our head. The mitre will come and there will be a washing on our mind. So they that have remained in Jerusalem and they that remain in Zion. One of the things that will happen is we will see the beauty of God. But there will be no beauty where there is no burning. There will be no beauty where there is no purification. Holiness must be a priority. So what my knee says that the righteous man is... Is strict to himself. He's kind to us others. And this is that year where you will trust God that what men see is what they see. That you are not operating a dual nature, the law of duality. What men see is what they see when you are in the private and when you are in the public. When the spirit of burning and the spirit of judgment comes and he does his work, what is the next thing? And the Lord will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion. Somebody say, upon every dwelling place. You see, it is not an appearance, it's a process. God will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion and upon her assemblies a cloud and a smoke by day and the shining of the flaming what? fire by night. For upon all, the glory shall be for a defense. So when you look at this scripture, there is the dwelling place of Mount Zion upon her assemblies. There is the dwelling place of Mount Zion and upon her assemblies. Upon her assemblies is talking about the corporate gathering of the brethren. When we gather together, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together. It's like the oil, the ointment that flows from the head of Aaron, even on to his beard, downward on to his garment. For there the Lord has commanded the blessing. There is the strength of oil that God is looking for that will flow from the head. The gradient, the quality of that oil should come to the beard and it should come to the skirt. 
No disparity. No UDX. No differentiation. The gradient should be the same. The quality should be the same. So God is going to create that fire upon the assembly of God. Why will he create this fire? He will create it by burning. So God said this year is a year of fruitfulness by pruning. So you are going to be fruitful, but I will prune you. Listen, guys. When the Bible says he that does not bear fruit, God will cut off. And he that bear fruit, he prunes more. The process is almost the same. In cutting off, you will go through pain. In pruning, you will go through pain. The difference, however, is that when you are cut off, you are out of the civilization of God. You are apart from God. But when God prunes you, you are with him. So you are like a rat. How many of you know rat? In the north, when we were growing up, when we finish eating and we, 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 we sleep off with part of the food on our hand, the rat will come. As he's eating, it will be blowing breeze. He's eating, he's licking them. When you wake up, you see your hands bleeding. What happened? The rat part two. So that's how God will work with you. God will flog you. He will, con he will cut you and then you say, hey, Omo Mikpeleo, Masukumo. Don't cry, I'm with you. But the one that is apart from God has been left to himself. And that is why if it's success you are pursuing, you must be careful what you call success because Cain built a city apart from God. So we are trusting God that in this year, men of holiness will rise. That the enemy will come after us he will find nothing in us. That's the prayer. The Lord, let this house be a house of holiness and righteousness unto you. All of us will experience the corporate cloud of the, of the Lord. And we will go home with it. And God will begin to, God will begin to find expression. He will begin to move within our vessel from that path, from that fire that we will take at the upper room. We all will go home and we will begin to tend it from our assemblies down to the dwelling place of Zion. There is the dwelling place and there is the assembly of Zion. There is the assembly of Israel. There is the assembly of Jerusalem. That Oh God, in the name of Jesus, as we gather together this year, let us enjoy corporate presence. Let us enjoy corporate power. Let us enjoy corporate, su co corporate supply. As we gather this year, let us enjoy your corporate attributes in the name of Jesus. That, oh God, corporately, indeed, we shall chase thousands. Talk to God. When you are, where you are seated, talk to him. Talk to him. I need your help. Here you see, say, I need your help. I need your help. We need your help. We need your help. We need your help. We need your help. Allah We need your help. Habrena Hesefe. We need your help. Allah Bahangro Hosifa. We need your help. Help us to tend revival. We need your help. Help us. To turn revival in this house. Burn off everything that you need to burn off. We open ourselves to the spirit of your judgment. And the spirit of your burning. Oh God help us. Hey. Uh, Lord help us.
Father, we need your help us. We need your help. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. One more prayer point. I want to pray for this house. The Lord, let there be bread. Enough. Listen. Let there be bread enough for the globe to be fed. The bread I'm requesting for is not the one that will feed you alone, but the one that will feed the entire world. That this place will be called what? Bethlehem. The house of bread. That God will find us worthy. That God will find us worthy as a people. His bread will be here. That oh God, let there be bread in this house. We don't know what you will do. We don't know how you will work it out. But let it be said concerning R.C. and Lagos, this is the house of bread, Bethlehem. Bethlehem, the house of bread. Make my life a blessing. Don't just bless me. Let me be a blessing. It is the year of the blessedness of God. The commanded blessing. Help me. I don't want to be a consumer this year. I see a Lagos. You will not be a consumer. You will be called a house of bread. You will feed the nation with the bread of heaven. The uncommon bread. The shoe bread. My God. Bread from the coals of the altar of God. Share you see, say, I need your help. I need your help. I need your help. I need your help. Share you see, say. I need your help. Come on, Barasiato. I need your help. Come on, Barasiato. I need your help. Come on, Barasiato. I need your help. Come on, And Jesus said to the Pharisees, he said to the scribes, that if you love me, you will abide in my word. Bethlehem in the house of bread. Your life we define what it means to feed a nation in Jesus mighty name we pray. Genesis chapter 12 from verse 1 I'll just read that and I'll leave us there. Genesis 12 that's my compass that's the compass where we are fetching from in this conference in this holy holy summon for 21 days it said now the Lord has said unto Abraham get thee out of thy country 
and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee and I will make thee and I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee and I will make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing and I will bless them that bless thee and I will curse him that curseth thee and in thee all the families of the earth shall be blessed and so Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken unto him and Lot went with him and Abraham was 75 years old when he departed out of Haran and Abraham took Sarah his wife and Lot his brother's son and all their substance help me tell your neighbor all their substance number one he took his wife number two he took Lot his brother's son number three he took substance that they had gathered and number four and all the souls that they had gotten in Haran somebody say souls Abraham has been a soul winner before he came to Christ I will touch these scriptures and I trust God that God will give us grace to unbundle it and they went forth To go into the land of Canaan and into the land of Canaan they came. So from this scripture 1 to 5 verse 5 establishes one thing to us that when we hear the blessing what comes to our head needs to change. He had substances before he began to follow God. When you hear the word that the Lord said is the year of the blessedness. The question is, what is the blessing? So we needed to go to three people or three major people that God declared the blessing to in the Old Testament. One of the first is Adam. The next is Noah. The next is this man. And every point that God declared the blessing there was sufficiency before he declared and God blessed them. So our pursuit of God and our pursuit of the blessedness of God is not money. It's not house. So you will hear that Abraham gave his other sons gifts but unto Isaac he gave him the blessing. What really is the blessing? When God says the year 2022 is the year of my blessedness what exactly is God talking about? I need your help. Share you see, he said, I need your help. If it's money you are pursuing, you don't need God. Share you see, he said, I need your help. Because as a pastor, a breakthrough can come from a wizard. They will give you ten thousand dollars as honorarium. You will call it a blessing, but you don't know is your is the ground for you to die. Papa was talking to us. He said, "This year, design platforms before you mount up on them." I need your help. I need your help.
not leave me to myself. Help me. If you know the things that are going on in my spirit that I see, oh God, help us. Candle of sincerity this year, and you will not lose it in Jesus' name. Finally, I want us to pray for our family. One of our family um, partners who is in traveled from the UK to Canada. She's a friend to one of our partners, and while she was there, they were meant to go back after this holiday to UK. They're in Canada. They did their COVID test. It came out positive, herself and the children. And as I yesterday, when they called me, she was coughing blood. So they were, she was distressed. I could tell when I was talking and praying for her. And we prayed, and prayed, and prayed. And I had to send scriptures to her, and I told her, read these healing scriptures. This afternoon, she sent me a message, and she said, Pastor, thank you for yesterday. The blood had stopped. Can we clap for Jesus? <laughs> Now, now, one of the one of the things you are going to trust God for this year, this year, the miraculous will not be a thing you call at the end of the meeting. It will not be a crescendo of your meeting. It will not be the high point of your meeting. As you are teaching, God will begin to heal sicknesses. If oh, you don't believe. Is, this is the one no, I know we are not going to eat but this is the one as you are teaching as you are speaking cancer will be drying up as you are teaching I'm giving you prayer burdens for these 21 days it is you see I am trusting God that we will call our meetings here people are not falling but what you will hear from that meeting will amaze you that we will no long, you will not wait for the falling of men to know that God is in your midst. But at the level of the authority that God is emitting from his scriptures. Who is this? Which womb gave birth to you? Is this not the capital son? No drama. But as you teach, the healing power of God will be breaking out. The pastors that are close to me, they know. That's, that's it. You don't need to fall. But God will be doing things. And I'm saying that God will use you to do the same thing. God will use you to do the same thing. So we want to pray for that family. That Lord in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for that woman and her children. I don't want to mention her name, but she's online following us right now. And I promise her that we're going to pray for her and the children. The Lord, in the name of Jesus, we turn that negative result to, we turn that positive result to negative and every other symptoms, let it begin to cease in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the symptoms continue to dissipate. Let it continue to, to go down. Let it dry up in the name of Jesus. Let it dry up. Let it dry up, my Father. We curse that, 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 that COVID. 
and that the cough will not come back there will be no relapse that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we decree the strength of heaven we ask that oh God as she goes back with the children to take the test let it come out negative in the precious name of Jesus Christ we pray for our family members and friends oh God but adventure there is any family that is being being be, be blighted that is being attacked by this reckless 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 viral disease the lord let such of our brethren be saved let their family members be saved in the precious name of jesus christ we thank you because we help them in jesus mighty name we pray hallelujah so our compass is Genesis chapter 12. We will, only, we will open it every day. I just touch the place of the substance and we'll break it open after in my subsequent sessions. By the grace of God, we are going to have Pastor Ayo talk to us in this. He is going to be having three, three straight days of prophetic teachings and prayer. You see, this is not the, the meeting. The, you can see the way we run it. Is exaltation prayer, exaltation prayer, in the like that. Amen. So we are going to have Pastor Ayo. He will come, and he will tell us the mind of God. Hallelujah. Um, for the fasting is a twenty-one days fast. Please, can I have my phone so that I can attend to those questions? Um. Normally, you break your fast six in the evening. Is that not so? It's by the side, sweetheart. We break our fast um, in the evening. Now, Pastor, Pastor Abe rolled out some instructions. Um, the media department sent it out, so maybe they can just flag it on. I'll just do three, four, five minutes and we'll go. Because we are meeting every day, so we want to be living here maximum 8, 10. So, um, you break in the evening. What you used to break no rice, no beans, no cook food. Somebody say cook food. Um, can the people abroad get me with the word no cook food? Okay. We don't go to, you don't put anything on fire. Because recently I discovered that some of the Americans don't know what we are saying. So you don't put anything on fire. What you eat is, you eat carrot, granite, yogurt. Yogurt is food. Eh? They have cooked, you are not the one cooking it. Argue with your phone, argue with your phone. So, you take, please, if there is anybody here that is going through the challenge of ulcer, you have ulcer issue, I love your faith. You say, Pastor Austin, I'm going to fast with you guys. It's okay. Go for medical counseling first. Then come back. If you have the faith that you want to do the fast with us, even though you have ulcer, make sure you see one of the pastors. Let us be in agreement with you. Uh, hey, okay, Papi say I should pray for the people with us now. Us are begun. In the name of Jesus, I command you never to rise up again. In the name of Jesus. So now you can join us. And, and you will finish it. Amen. So, so you eat no agidio, no echo. Don't go and say glory, you know, you start snapping agidi and vegetable. No, 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 no. You can, you can eat fresh tomatoes. Papi took tomato juice recently. I said, so there's something we call tomato juice again. I, I wanted to partake, but I was afraid. You know, my tummy is very sensitive. So you will take tomatoes, not tomato puree fresh tomatoes, that red one. Just go to the market and buy it. And for us to encourage each other, 
when you want to take your food, you can do us a favor. The way I was doing it for you guys when I was in the UK, I will send you what I'm eating. Just put it on our WhatsApp platform. Dinner now. <laughs> Dinner now. So we will be judging what you are eating. We will be sure that we are fasting this thing together. The benefit of this fasting is that you are going to detox. All right? You, you will take, there is this leaf we call celery. You can blend. You see, Pastor Ayo, when he comes in his own session, because if Pastor Ayo were not to be a man of God, he will be a man of leaves. A, hab, a herbalist. I tell you, a, if you want Agbo, that is called Bobo Nishé, don't go to the market. Just meet Pastor Ayo. He will tell you the things to mix. And you'll be good. Amen. I just knew that recently. Oh. Praise the Lord. So you will take celeries, blend vegetables. All right? Blend them, sweeten it with banana and shack it. Then take apple. It's just fruits. I assure you, you will not die. I've done it for 70 days. I've done it for 90 days. You are doing, how, what, how many are you doing now? 21. I've done 40 before I ask you to do this 21. In fact, I did 45, I think 50 something. While I was in the UK, that was what I was doing. People thought I was being punished with that food. I was actually on a fruit fast. I left with it from here. They did everything to stop me. I said, I'm stopping this. I will continue. And I, I ran for about 50 days. And part of the tributaries is what is coming out now. Praise the Lord. So that's the way to break. And when we say it's fruit fast, it does not mean that you take fruit in the afternoon. You take fruit in the morning. Say, glory, this is what I'm eating. You send it to us, we will tell you you are, you are not in order. So it is fruit in the evenings, but in the morning and in the afternoons, you can take water. Number two, if you know that when you, you are fasting, you have bad breath, hmm? go and look for Long reach product and forever living. They have those things that you can pop up. Don't go and be chewing gum to tell us that you are fasting. You will buy chewing gum, you will be swallowing sugar and say you are fasting. I've seen that method. Well, um, Pastor Joe, is that allowed to chew gum? Pastor Ayo, can we be eating chewing gum? Eh? It will freshen your breath, but don't pack it and just to yourself be true. Okay, if you chew it too much, you will get tired. So, we are trying to detox. So, so, so please to yourself be true. We want, you to, we want you to press the button of reset in your body. What I'm trying to do for you this year is, your body needs to go through reset. So that some nonsense, jagbajastic will live your life. You will, you will see... These 21 days, you will wake up well. <laughs> no soft drinks. No Coke. Don't go and put Coke on the, on the platform when it's sweating. No soft drinks. The Coke that has catch steam. When you put it there, some people that used to drink Gouda before. And see how it used to see. Say, Kai. This is shh. Life is good. No Coke. You can blend your stuff. The, our brethren, I will encourage you to bring Zobo this evening to sell. Bring fruits to sell here. Um, as people are going, they can just take one or two bottles, shack the thing, go home. You can eat coconut and all of those stuff. Not coconut rice. <laughs> Not coconut beans. Coconut. Don't go and bring coconut oil by the side and say, this is, you know, you know, we can be, <laughs> Satan can be creative. He can give you innovation. Say, POC, this was what I did. All right? It was Pastor Kwe that called me. They bombarded him today with questions. I think with Pastor Abe. You know, Pastor Abe didn't call me. A lady sent me a message. Say, this, um, then from, from Abuja also. So our brethren in Abuja are part of this fasting. So that's why I'm taking time to explain this. Praise the Lord. And I'm sure that you will enjoy it. So please make sure you get something to so brush your mouth. This is the time that if you don't trust yourself, you have, if you are going to work, it's your bag, old lady. It's your bag. Put your toothbrush there and what? 
and uh, toothpaste. Before you come on Monday, step into your convenience in office and brush. No gari and granite. No gari and granite. Pastor, you sure you don't hear your children? <laughs> no gari and granite. Eh? Siri is not cooked. I want all lady day. <laughs> ah, barista, they have gotten me. Oh, they said it's not cooked. <laughs> Pastor Joe, how do we escape this now? Let's just, okay, okay. Granite went through fire, through burning. <laughs> Let's stay with, um, um, man of God, what do you have to tell us on this? L Let's stay with fruit. Let's stay with fruit and vegetable. You can eat long at attache. Uh, <laughs> Shabby, you are looking for something that is very fresh. Buy one fresh attache, eat it. <laughs> pure, 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 pure. pure. That would be good. Praise the Lord. Like, like for me now, I will eat plenty of onions this season. I'll just dice it and tomatoes. Mm. Nursing mothers, please eat. Pregnant women, please eat. There are some kind of medications that you are on. There are medic. In fact, thank you. There are medications. Hello. There are <laughs> nothing father, no eat too. <laughs> My brother, no eat. No mind them, no mind them. Nothing father, we are together. <laughs> Just stay on fruit. Stay on fruit. Stay on fruit. After the end of the fast, we'll compare notes. All right? Stay strictly on fruit. Strictly on fruit. Praise the Lord. Strictly on fruit. And then, for people who are on medication, you know there's this kind of medication that you can't take without eating. So please, you are at liberty to eat because you are taking your medication. And also now, in the name of Jesus, anything that warrants you taking that medication will, will abolish it. Amen. Will nullify it. Amen. Will flush it out of your system. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm looking forward to hearing why you were teaching today, Pastor Victor. My ear that I couldn't hear with popped open. I, while you were teaching, I sensed I should take off my glasses. And I took it off. And I can see now. While you were teaching, after the teaching, I prayed. And when I got home, things left my body. Those are the kind of miracles I want us to hear this year. In the name of Jesus. We will not wait till the end of the meeting and say, now he has come. Apostle Aramet thought today, he said there is stature in the spirit. What hundred people can do, one man can do it. Ah, that one caught me. I heard him today. How many of you enjoyed that? Kayo, sipping coffee. Oh. Conducting deliverance while you are drinking coke. Pour the coke, demon will cry out. In Jesus' name. Please cast your offerings. This season is a season of sacrifice. And please, if you're, if you're part of the people that pledge to give um, for this meeting every day, I want to believe that you have. Pastor Grace, you have not even given us updates if you have been receiving those 40,000. 40, you have. Okay, she says she will check. So please, if you, have, if, you have, if you are here, you have redeemed your pledge. Let me see your hand. Oh, God bless you. A any other person, you pledged 40,000. Okay, so we'll be reminding you. Give your offering. Thank you so very much. The Lord bless you. Can we rise up as we are casting that offering? I've taken five extra minutes. It's supposed to be eight, ten. This is Remnant Christian Network. Please, if you are here for the first time, can we see your hand up? New first-timers, oh, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, thank you 
So you are going to do us a favor. Pastor Victor will be meeting with you immediately after now. Pray with you and then, oh, thank you so much, my brother, for coming. God bless you. God bless you. We hope to see you more and more and more in Jesus' name. Are we done with the offering? Okay, we are not done. Will soon be true. First timers, please just come to where Pastor Victor is, to the front here. We have some of our brethren from Ireland. They are here. The island pastor also is here. Pastor Mike and his wife. God bless you. I said I will not tell him. Let me see if he will come without me telling him. So when I saw it on their platform, I said, okay, Oga don't announce this meeting. So this is 21 days. We'll, we'll be having all the meetings here this period. Ireland, for now, will wait until we finish the corporate fast. So please encourage the brethren to come from the island. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Are we done with the offering now? Be careful what you invest in to this year. When anybody from RCN comes to tell you that, come and invest 20000 you will get 100000 Tell them, go and tell Pastor Oraka first before you come and tell me. Use that litmus test. Don't do any investment with anybody in this house. I repeat, don't give anybody your money for 20000 to get 100000 our hand is not there. In Jesus' name. Let's share the grace and fellowship.